Hello, children. I am Katty. Today, I will tell you about different festivals celebrated in India. Festivals are special days. We celebrate them with our family, friends, neighbors, and relatives. On most festivals, we treat each other and exchange gifts. We have a lot of fun and enjoy ourselves. Festivals can be national or religious. We also celebrate some harvest festivals. Let's first know about the national festivals. All Indians celebrate national festivals. We have three national festivals. On 15th August 1947, India became free from the British rule. We celebrate this day as our Independence Day. Our Prime Minister hoists the national flag at the Red Fort in Delhi. We hoist it in schools, colleges, offices and our neighborhood. We also sing the national anthem. While singing the national anthem, we should take care of the following things. Stand straight. Do not move. Do not speak. Republic Day India became Republic on 26 January 1950. Every year, there is a huge colorful parade in New Delhi at Rajpath to celebrate it. A Republic does not have a king or queen. People vote and choose their leaders. Gandhi Jayanti, 2nd October, is the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. We celebrate it as Gandhi Jayanti. We call him the father of the nation. People follow different religions in India. The festivals of people of a particular religion celebrate are called religious festivals. Now let's know about some religious festivals of India. Meet Puja, Swati, Manish, Isabella, Sabina and Jasneed. They will tell us about the religious festivals they celebrate. Friends, I'll tell you about some festivals of the Hindus. The Shara is a Hindu festival. Lord Rama killed Ravan on the Shara. We also call it Vijayadashmi, which means the victory of good over evil. We burn the effigies of Ravana, Meghnatha and Kumkarana on the Shara. Durga Puja is celebrated in West Bengal around the same time as the Shara. People wear new clothes and pray to Goddess Durga for five days. Then they immerse our idols in the river. Another very popular Hindu festival is Diwali. It is the festival of lights. On this day, people decorate their houses with candles and diyas. They wear new clothes and exchange sweets. Lord Rama returned to Ayodhya after living in a forest for 14 years on this day. Now let me tell you all about Christmas. Christmas is celebrated on 25th December every year by every Christian. Lord Jesus Christ was born on this day. On Christmas, people go to the church and pray and sing Christmas carols. They also decorate Christmas trees with gifts, stars, lights and bells. Children wait for Santa Claus to get them gifts. Well, the main festivals of the Sikh is Guru Purab. On Guru Purab, we remember one of our ten gurus. The Gurudwaras are decorated with flowers and lights. Verses from the Guru Granth Sahib, which is the holy book of the Sikhs, are recited. People eat langar from a common kitchen. Langar is a free meal served in a Gurudwara. 
Ramzan is the holy month in which Muslims fast. Eid al-Fitr is celebrated after Ramzan. On this day, Muslims embrace and wish each other Eid Mubarak. They offer namaz in mosques and eat a sweet dish called sevai. We all play with colors, don't we? Yes, we do. Well, Holi is the festival of colors. It marks the end of winters and beginning of summers. People gather around a huge bonfire on Holy Eve. The next day, people splash colored water on each other and apply gulal. Sweets like guchia are made at home and enjoyed by all. Ganesh Chaturthi is a festival mainly celebrated in Maharashtra. It celebrates the birth of Lord Ganesha. Lord Ganesha is the son of Lord Shiva and goddess Parvati. People bring idols of Lord Ganesha to their houses and worship them. Sweets called Modak are made and offered to Lord Ganesha. After a few days, the idols are immersed in a water body. Thank you. Now let's know about the harvest festivals of India. Harvest festivals are celebrated when crops are ready to be cut. We call them by different names in different parts of the country. Let's hear what these people have to say about their harvest festivals. Hi, I'm Gurpreet. I'm a Sikh from Punjab. Paisakhi is the harvest festival of the Sikhs. It is also the beginning of the Sikh New Year. People of Punjab celebrate Baisakhi with lot of devotion. They bathe in a holy river, sing traditional songs and dance the Bhangra and Gidda. Hello friends, I am Natasha from Assam. Bihu is the harvest festival of my state. It is celebrated in Assam with great joy. People make and eat special dishes called pitha, which is a sweet made of rice flour. Larus, which is a sweet made of rice and coconut. And jolpan, which are snacks. Women wear colorful saris, sing folk songs and dance. There are three Bihu festivals. The most popular one falls in April. It marks the coming of spring. Namaskaram, I am Divya from Tamil Nadu. Pongal is a harvest festival. People thank the sun god, rain and farm animals that have helped in the harvest. They decorate their houses with kolam, which is a rangoli made of rice powder. They cook rice with jaggery and milk and offer it to sun god. Hello everyone, I am Shruta from Kerala. We celebrate Onam, which is our rice harvest festival. It lasts for 10 days. People decorate elephants, hold snake boat races, play games, and pray to King Mahabali. They wear new clothes and make rangoli of flowers. Today we have learnt about many Indian festivals. You must always remember to respect all religions and their celebrations. <laughs>